What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. If you are, be sure to press the like button. Otherwise, no joke, no scam whatsoever at all. You will be forced to go to Costco with your mom and your dad every time they go. And here's the crazy part. They're going to go during the Costco high school year union where everyone they know is there. They're going to stop and talk to everybody. So uh, I would definitely press the like button. I feel like that's the best way to do it for sure to just avoid the massive pain of having to go shopping with your parents. Speaking of going shopping with your parents, today's story takes place while I was a little kid uh, on an adventure with my mom at Costco, to be honest. Got bored, ran away from my mom at Costco, and ended up finding a rapper kid who was trying to flex on one of the ladies handing out free samples. It's a very cringy memory that I have that's very specific, and uh, I figured it would make a good story. And since I'm moving, you know, I'm kind of using this week to just get out weird stories that might not get the most views, but I think are funny and fun to tell. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Hey, I've been thinking about you All the things that we could do If you let me slide through so when I was too young to stay home by myself, I think days when my mom and grandma would go grocery shopping, depending on who I was with, was the worst ever, dude. Because, like, I don't know what it is about going shopping with adults, but they run into somebody they know every time you go. They have to, like, bargain shop and have awkward, embarrassing conversations with every worker. It's just very uncomfortable, I swear. Maybe that was just me shopping with my parents, but... All of my friends that I've talked to as well have been like, dude, shopping with your parents was honestly the worst. It was the least enjoyable experience ever. So I'm going to say that it's a pretty common experience that like going shopping all day with your parents would suck. And uh, th this was no exception. One of my least favorite places to go uh, was Costco. I know for a lot of people it's their favorite because like they give out free samples and stuff, but there was just something depressing about the air in a Costco because the only time I would ever go was with my grandma whenever I would like skip school or school would have a day off. So she would take me at like Tuesday at 11 a.m. And you don't know a sad group of people until you've seen everybody in a Costco on like Tuesday at 11 a.m. It was just sad air. The free samples that they were giving out were like not even good either, dude. It'd be like, ah, who wants to try wheat thins? Like, I don't know, man. Come on, get me popping. Get me some like sriracha chicken nuggets or something to try out here, Costco. So on this day, I'm at Costco with my grandma on like a day off. I'm younger. This is like elementary school. It's before I could stay home alone. So we're at Costco and sure enough, dude, like the, the free samples suck. It's like free samples of lotion. You know, little kid me is just straight up not having a good time. If I'm going to quote Simi Valley out here. So I look at my grandma, I, I call her Oma, I say, Oma, look, I'm gonna go bounce out, try to find some stuff to do around here, okay? I'm not gonna get in too much trouble, but can I please just go exploring? And uh, I'm not gonna lie, as a kid, I was kind of a little bit mischievous, I was kind of known for getting myself into trouble, so she gives me this look, she's like, look, no getting into trouble, young man, do you understand me? And I'm like, yes, of course, and she says, yeah, just meet me back up by, like, the cashiers to check out in 30 minutes, all right? And I'm like, all right, bet. I don't have a watch because I'm a kid, but whatever. 30 minutes seems fair enough, sure. So I just go off and start exploring this Costco. I go to, like, the Costco that we had at the time. Uh, they don't have this section anymore, but I wish they did because it was super sick. Had this, like, camping section. So, you know, I'm playing in all the little tents and stuff. I'm, like, climbing into canoes, climbing out of them. I'm, like, picking up the fishing poles and pretending to fish. Just doing whatever, anything I could do that's more entertaining than walking up and down the aisles of a Costco shopping with an elderly woman. Like, you know, I, I love my Oma, don't get me wrong, hanging out with her is tight, but uh, little kid me was just straight up not having a good time in Costco. I've already said that, but I want to reiterate not having a good time. So finally, I get bored of the camping section. I'm like, whatever. I guess tents aren't that entertaining anymore. So I just start kind of walking around looking for free samples. I was kind of hoping I would find a good one. Like maybe they would have some gushers or something, some fruit snacks, like a solid sample that wasn't awful. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is about days in the morning at Costco, but the samples they're giving out are seriously a joke dude like one time they were giving out like salmon balls and i'm like what what do you do you see me i appreciate the fact that you guys are willing to give out salmon balls i know that's expensive but i feel like the last thing i want my breath to taste like while i'm shopping at costco is fish all right it already tastes enough like that when i'm leaving your mom's house but um tss. 
So I'm walking around, and I get around one of these corners, and it's like in one of the last aisles of the store, and I see that there's a cart there that has fruit gushers on display to be their sample. So I'm like, hell yeah, I'm gonna get some gushers. It's a beautiful day. This is what America was really founded upon. You know, forget like uh, everything else in the Constitution. I'm pretty sure there was an important part about gushers and free samples at Costco that nobody else talks about, but I'm telling you, it's very important. So I walk over, and uh, the lady there is surprisingly young. Like, usually the people giving out stuff at Costco during the day were, like, grandmas that would go, Oh, you're so cute. Do you want a sample? And I'd be like, eh, not really, but I feel weird saying no to you, old lady, so sure. So I walk up to her, I'm like, oh, can I have a sample? And she smiles at me and says, yeah, of course, and hands me not one cup of Gushers, but two. An absolute saint, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, I believe on this day that I saw an angel. You know when Anakin saw Padme in Star Wars? That's how I was really feeling looking at this beautiful creature that gave me double the standard amount of gushers usually given out, man. If she would have asked to marry me right there, I probably would have said yes. So whatever, this lady gives me double the normal amount of gushers and I'm vibing. And she's like, hey, you can hang out here if you want. I'll keep giving you gushers. And I'm like, hell yeah. To be honest, it's probably really boring to work at a Costco during the day too, so she was probably like, anything to make this more bearable I'll do. So we're just kind of talking. Keep in mind, I'm a little kid. This is like elementary school, so I'm probably just saying dumb stuff like, yeah, you know, like one day I'm gonna be a superhero and the president, so like, it's kind of whatever, but we're just hanging out. And I'm not gonna lie, the girl was pretty. Like, th the best way I could describe her with my six-year-old memory is like a Disney princess, all right? She was pretty. And some guy walks up, and he's, like, got this backwards hat on, and he's sagging, you know, he's got the whole early 2000s rapper vibe to him, and he's like, hey, little mama, let me holla at you. Um, except this guy was, like, definitely not fitting the rapper vibe. I don't know what it is, but I feel like the only people that go around trying to be a rapper are, like, the least amount of people that are rappers. Like, I feel like if you're actually, you know, a really cool gangstery person, you don't have to walk around reminding everybody of it. Like, it just kind of speaks for itself. But I just distinctly remember this dude, like, blatantly hitting on this girl in, like, just, uh, just an uncomfortable way. Like, hey, girl. Those gushers bust in your mouth, you mind if I do too? Ahaha, ah, like just being, you know, just the worst. So whatever, the lady who's giving us gushers is obviously not interested because that's just not a good pickup line. Like I'm always flabbergasted when I see dudes opening with something as bold as that because it's like, I really don't think she's going to appreciate that the way you think she is. So whatever, she's like, no. And I'm not even kidding, the guy's like, oh, well... Let me, let me rap for you, like, let me show you the raps that I can, I can say, like, trust me, after I rap for you, you're gonna fall in love, and trust me, dude, if a girl is already saying no, the last thing she wants to hear you do is rap, like, I honestly think there has never been a girl in her life that is like, man, I didn't think he was attractive until he started freestyle rapping about my beauty while I was handing out gushers at a Costco, like, I really don't think that's ever happened, but whatever, this guy's just not taking no for an answer, so she's finally like, yeah, go ahead and rap. And keep in mind, this is still more entertaining than shopping with my grandma, so, you know, the vibes are lit. So he starts rapping, and he's like, uh, you so sexy in your Costco uniform, I think was, like, really one of his lines, which is honestly mind-boggling. Like, that is, is not what any girl wants to hear, bro. No girl wants to be told that she looks heck sexy in a hairnet, because... A, it's just not true, hairnets are just not, not that type of vibe, but B, dude, like, when you're singing a girl a love song, they want it to be like, you know, the way your personality shines makes me reconsider everything. They don't want to be like, hey, girl, the way your booty looking at Costco apron real extra thick, like, no girl wants that, so... He's doing his horrible rap, but he's like doing it with no beat, so it's even more awkward. It's just spoken word per poetry, just said very weirdly. It's like, hey, little mama, let me holla in your face. Let me take you into outer space, but like with no beat. So it just sounds like he has a really weird accent or like, you know, a speech impediment. So he's trying to, to rap to her and it's just not working, obviously, because those lines are just not the type of bars that can romance a woman. So after his little embarrassing rap, the gusher lady is like, yeah, no, I, I still don't want to date you. I hate to break it to you, but no. And he starts to get mad and he's like, whatever, you're like working at a dumb Costco anyways at 11 a.m. Like, wh whoever works at Costco this early sucks. And she looks at him and he's like, sir, aren't you here at Costco at this time? And he's like, yeah, but that's just because, like, I made so much money yesterday that I felt like coming to Costco and, like, 
just seeing what normal people do, you know? Because, like, I just get my bands up from my music. And this lady is like, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you get all the bands from the music. And the guy's like, whatever, you're ugly anyways, and leaves. Which, I mean, I always think that's a fun one when a guy gets rejected and is like, you're ugly anyways, because it's like, wow, then why were you trying to hit on her, dude? Like, it's just weird. Either you're saying that you like ugly girls, or you're just, like, I, I just don't understand the point, man. Like, I just don't get it. Plus, like, sometimes people just aren't interested, man. You, you just got to accept that sometimes. Life hurts. You know, go listen to some Juice World and cry, maybe. So yeah, rapper guy absolutely flops, starts calling her ugly, and like, now it's just uncomfortable. Yo, you ugly anyways, like, now he's just calling her ugly, so she's kind of like, uh, okay, and he's like, yeah, whatever, I'll, I'll see you around, like, when you're begging for my number when you see me on MTV or whatever, and she's like, okay, sir, have a good day. And he, like, angrily grabs the box of Gushers, even though most of the Gushers have been poured out, like, most of the packages of Gushers have been poured into little cups, which... Now that I'm thinking about it, it makes no sense. Like, why wouldn't you just give people a pack of Gushers? Why would you take the Gushers out of the pack and then put them into little cups to give to people? Huh, Costco? Huh? Save the turtles. So yeah, he angrily stole a box of Gushers and called her very ugly because she didn't like his very bad pickup line rap. Which, I mean, honestly, I don't know what to tell you. Anybody who claims to just be like the goaded rapper is just a cringe lord, in my opinion. There's, there's nothing you can do to really change that. Anyways, guys, on that note, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, I'd appreciate you pressing the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff. Today's notification shout-out goes to Hamilton. Big thank you for having on your notifications. It's not the Broadway musical. They, they know who they are. They told me their name. Anyways... Seriously though guys, press the like button, comment down below, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. I know this isn't like the greatest story ever, but it's just an entertaining one to me, so I'm telling it since I'm busy this week anyways, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys next time with another video. Don't get anyone pregnant if you do, make sure they're hot, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.